all I saw was the baby on the gurney and um, I guess the oxygen tank. A five-year-old girl in Laplace shot and killed today. St. John deputies think it was an accident, but yet this is another case of a gun going off in the hands of a child. WDSU reporter Jennifer Crockett is in the studio tonight with more. Five-year-old Haley Moore was spending the weekend at her dad's house. The family was supposed to go see a movie. Instead, deputies said she found her father's gun. A sunny Saturday morning in the small town of Laplace, shattered with just one shot. The father said he was taking a shower and uh, when he heard the, a gunshot, he got out the shower and that's when he discovered that his daughter had accidentally shot herself. The bullet entered five-year-old Haley Moore's right chest and came out under her left arm. Her older sister and brother were home too. An officer pulled up, the kids ran out of the, out of the house screaming. Haley's neighbor ushered them into her house as paramedics performed CPR. The oldest uh, kid, she repeatedly said, my, my sister shot herself. My sister shot herself. I don't know if she's going to be OK. That girl penned a letter to her little sister while they waited and hoped, but she wouldn't have a chance to deliver the note. Haley Moore died at the hospital. He's devastated. We've spoken to him since. He's devastated. The investigation continues, but her father told deputies he left the 45 caliber gun out on the table. The kids are aware of the guns, but when they, they're in his possession, the kids, um, he would always make sure that the uh, firearms were put away. But today, his gun was in Haley's hands. The skin by her fingers bruised from the slide when deputies think she pulled the trigger. Kids, you know, fascinated with guns, you know, um, and they just, they don't know what they're doing. Lieutenant Baker says every parent should act right now to make sure what happened to Haley doesn't happen in their home. Safety, everything is safety. Like I say, you know, if, you, if, you're, on, if you're owner of a weapon, buy your safe box a gun safe, you know, and that's the way it is. Like I said, you know, teach your kids, teach your family about it. And that's exactly why Lieutenant Baker agreed to talk to us today. He wants anyone who sees Haley's story and does not always lock up their gun to change that behavior today. In addition to buying a lockbox, Lieutenant Baker says to always keep guns unloaded. That includes clearing the chamber and removing the magazine. In the studio, Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.